why I'm no longer using the P320 for training or duty use. The reasons may just surprise you. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys, welcome back. Let's just get into it. So this is the firearm that I uh, that I pretty much always train with is the uh, SIG P320. Um, this specific uh, firearm um, is the, the Spectre line. Um, you can see here their custom uh, works uh, division. The gun is completely stock as far as trigger and FCU. I haven't done any internal modification to this uh, firearm. Um, with the exception, if you want to say modification, it has a comp. That comp did come with the barrel. And then I ended up uh, changing out the grip module to a Wilson combat grip. Now, this is a full size. And what I ended up doing was I purchased a, a longer full size um, grip module and I cut it. So it can be flush mount with the compensator, okay? Uh, besides that, you know, the, the gun is stock, you know? Um, now, the reason that we're no longer running SIGs, it's really not because of uh, what SIG is going through regarding their lawsuit issue and, um, you know, their thing from the past. Me personally, I'm only going to just touch it, touch on the subject just a little bit uh this is my experience this is my opinion i've never had an issue with my gun thank god my gun has never gone off by itself now i do believe that um the gun just doesn't go off by itself there has to be something that gets caught in between the trigger guard and the trigger while the operator is reholstering their weapon Something has to take place there. I, my opinion, and with my experience, I've never personally seen a firearm go off without someone, you know, uh, I don't want to say accidentally because I, I don't, I don't believe in in accidental discharges. It's negligence, but unless somebody puts their finger in the trigger and pulls it, um, you know. But anyhow, that's again, that's my opinion, and we are just talking about the SIGs. Now, that's all I'm going to say about that. That's not the reason why our um, agency has decided to kind of um, drop the P320. Um, I carried it for, you know, for private um, protection. And um, just unfortunate that we're not able to, to carry that firearm for duty anymore. So now we are now required to carry, that's right, the Glock. Now, this uh, Glock is completely stock. Um, the We just recently got a contract and it called for um, a Glock is what it called for. It gave us a couple of different manufacturers. But in a nutshell, they were basically saying without saying buy a Glock. Um, there were some requirements with this specific contract. Um, they wanted the pistol to be and it's a uh, complete factory, you know, uh, configuration. They didn't want any modification, no stipple work, um, absolutely no trigger upgrade, um, just factory. Um, they, they did allow our agency to, um, you know, they gave us a green light when it came to uh, the weapon light. Um, I asked for, this was separate, I asked for a, uh, a magwell. And then the, the red dot. Now that was something that was approved um, on an individual basis. I had to speak with somebody in, you know, in the agency, and they they approved it. Now, besides that, they it's basically just a gun and, and the light. You know, that's that's as far as they would uh, go with the firearm. Now, um, every contract is going to be different um, depending on your contract. You know, we are vendors you know, to, to these agencies that hire us, depending on the scope of work, you know, we may get called in 
for whatever detail they they're requiring for us to do which is they're they're very specific on the type of firearm we carry and in this specific uh contract they were also specific on the type of holsters we carry so you know it, it all depends um we we tend to do more private uh protection um executive protection etc and uh with with our uh personal client or private client excuse me you know we we can carry con uh, concealed you know i i do have a protocol we have in our sops uh, you know i have different varieties of firearms that we approve um we just don't allow any ep to carry whatever they want you know glocks the, the sig i have the sig on there you know the cz um we have a uh the h and k the fn you know other other the mmps we have different models there and just as of recent, we had to revise our SOP with with our company. But in a nutshell, that's the reason we're no longer carrying the uh, the Sig P320. It's a shame because I absolutely, I really love this gun. I love the way it shoots. I, I it shoots amazing. Um, what I will do in the future is um, I like to give you guys a review on the Steiner MPS. And I may even go into, you know, the differences between a closed emitter and an open emitter from a real world uh, perspective. Um, this is my my new duty uh, carry gun and it has an open emitter um, optic. Um, and I don't want to spoil, you know, the future video, but I will be giving you guys my my experience, my not only my opinion, but my experience on um if one is superior over the other, the differences, etc. All right, so don't miss out on that video, guys. If you haven't um, subscribed, please do us a favor, subscribe. Uh, we we try our best when we have a moment to produce videos. Um, you know, unfortunately, this is YouTube is not our full time job. We do have full time job that uh, takes hours and hours away from our families and friends. But anyhow. Your support is very much appreciated. Remember, uh, subscribe over and follow us on Instagram as well. This is our handle right here. So, um, you know, drop a comment. Tell me what you guys uh, use. If you guys are in law enforcement or uh, you do private security, tell tell us what, uh, what your department requires uh, you to carry. I'm curious to know about that. All right, guys. Until next time, appreciate you guys watching.